Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever compared the charging time of your new phone with your older one? If you did, you must have figured out not only the runtime has increased, but charging time has reduced as well. Yes, it is all due to advancements in the battery chemistry. In this video, you will learn about charging methods and charging duration of the lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries can accept charge at a higher rate compared to any other battery type. Of course, the voltage and temperature should be within safe operating range. When we talk about electric cars, the customers may expect to spend the same time as refueling your fuel tank. Actually, there are few technology demonstrations which can charge the electric vehicle battery in just five minutes. These are recent trends and it will take a few years for this technology to be available in the market. Fundamentally, battery charging is done in two modes. The first mode is constant current charging. Here, the battery is supplied with a fixed amount of current and its voltage rises. This mode charges the battery approximately to 80% level. In the second mode, known as constant voltage charging, the charger circuit fixes the voltage to its rated charging voltage and the current gradually reduces to zero when the battery is fully charged. This exactly works like filling water into a glass tumbler. You can add water at a higher rate when the glass tumbler is empty. But when it's nearly full, you have to be careful when adding more water to avoid overflow, as well as to ensure that the glass tumbler becomes exactly full. Therefore, constant voltage charging takes more time. You might have observed the same with your phone battery. It charges faster from a lower level to around 80% and then takes more time to become full. Actually, there is another reason for higher charging time and it is due to passive cell balancing while the battery pack is being charged. In a multi-cell battery pack, the cell voltages and charge levels may be different among themselves. Due to this difference, a situation arises where one cell group reaches 100% state of charge faster than the others. This forces the charger to turn off in order to prevent overcharging. To charge all cells equally, a battery management system balances the cell groups connected in series so that the battery capacity can be fully utilized. The passive cell balancing network resistors connected in parallel to cells absorb the extra energy of the cell having high voltage while charging. Therefore, this method allows all cells to be fully charged. Electric vehicle companies also specify charging time up to 80% level using fast chargers. However, it's not recommended to charge every time using a fast charger as it will affect the battery life. Many users charge their vehicles as top up and charging time is also indicated as kilometers per minute. Well, that's it guys. Hope you understood about charging time of the lithium ion battery. We'll meet again in the next one. Bye.